Hello and welcome to my channel and in this video we will detect more than one color using OpenCV and Python. So first I import the important needed libraries like CV2, NumPy and Matplotlib. Next I load the image using the cv2.imread function and next I convert the image from BGR format to RGB format using cv2.convertColor function. Now, this is because by default OpenCV reads the image as a BGR image format so we convert it to RGB format in order to look at the way humans can see it properly in proper color. So next I use the plot.imshow function in order to display the image so this is the output that we get. Next we use the convert color function in order to convert the RGB image into an HSV image that is because OpenCV uses HSV format image in order to detect the color. So we convert the particular image from RGB format to HSV format using the same cv2.convertColor function and we mention the image here which is the RGB image that we created here. So next we mention the lower and upper limits of the image so in this example the lower limit is for color orange and the upper limit is for the color orange so we will be detecting a single color orange initially and then we will move on to detecting more than one color so i run this part of code and we create a mask so we create a mask using the upper and lower range so i run this part of code and i run the this part of code and see the proper mask that has create that has been created on top of the orange color image next i use the bitwise and operator as we see, saw in the previous video it will uh, remove the mask and blacken out the unnecessary unrequired colors and it will display only the color that we and it will display only the color which belongs to that particular hsv range so I run this part of code and I see the image so as you can see uh, it properly detected the orange color. So this is how we detect this one single color but now we will uh, we want to detect more than one color. So what we will do is we will mention another op upper and lower HSP limits for the color that we want to detect. So I will copy this part. I'll create another one and I'll paste it here. So I'll just make a few changes here in order to make everything distinct. So I name it as upper one and lower one, and I change it to upper two and lower two. So this was the HSV range for orange color. Now let's take an example. Let's mention the HSV range for the color cyan. So the H values are between 85 and 95 for the cyan color. So this is how we mentioned the upper and lower range. Now we will create the mask for these two upper and lower ranges. So I will just copy this part of code and I will paste it here. So I will rename it as mask1 and the upper I will rename it as upper one and lower one. So similarly, I will copy this and paste this. I'll rename this upper one and lower upper two and lower two. And similarly, the mask will be mask one and mask two. So now I'll create a mask variable, which will be the addition of mask one, mask one and mask two. So mask two. So here we added both these masks that got created using the upper and lower range HSV values of the color orange and cyan. So once again I will run this part of code, this part, this part as well and this part as well. Now I add both the mask and so I will, I will delete this part of mask because we are not using it. So edit and I delete this part of cell and I will run this part of code. As you can see, I detect it a masked out two values, the orange and the cyan one. So now I will run this part of code as well. And this part, 
so as you can see once again that uh, it uh, it blackened out the part which it blackened out the colors that were not required or which were not mentioned and it showed only those two particular colors that is orange and cyan which were required which we mentioned right here the lower and the upper limits for the orange color and the color cyan so this is how you can create two upper and lower HSV values for the required colors uh, create separate masks for them and add both these masks in order to detect more than one color using Python and OpenCV. So I hope you like the video. Please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot for watching.